is Dorothy at Done by Dorothy. And we are here today to share um, maybe a tutorial that's a little bit different um, than we normally share. Um, we're actually here to show you or to do a tutorial on how we get our files to load into Brother Scan and Cut. I know a lot of people or some people are having issues. Uh, you know, if you go in and load your SVGs and they show up and they're all black and you're like, oh no, what do I do? Um, because, you know, they're your mats and your bases are different colors and that type of thing. So that's what we're going to sort of walk through today. One thing I do um, want to mention is I will be using the SVGs from Bella Creative Designs um, with Katie. And she does include this gorgeous little SVG journal pack guide that goes with it. And so there's the little cover and there's all the little whatnot and this and that and the other, the words that, you know, to tell you what to do. And then the she includes this photo and it's a journal pack and it actually shows all the different individual items that are in this journal pack. So there's like a file folder. Okay, there's the blue, which is the base, and then there's the pink, which is the mats. So the file folder file actually contains five separate graphics, both tabs, the inside of the file folder and the base. So you need to remember that that is a key point. So I personally would suggest like if you're working with a journal pack, print off this page of your journal of this, of your guide, keep it with you because that's going to let you be able to reference how many mats belong to what images. So that's how we're going to do that. So let me lower that. I'm going to open brother canvas workspace. Oops. I already have it open. That sort of helps because I was working on it earlier. Let me, empty this all out and um, let me delete this. I was working on this earlier. Okay. So normally when you go into a program in most any program and you're going to open a file, you go up to file and you go down and you click open. Now I'm going to get back down to my now normally these right here would not be here. Um, Actually, let me delete these because these were where I was doing for a sample video earlier. Okay, so we know that I have my junk journal folder right here that is for SVGs, Bella Creative Designs. And if you open it up, you'll see a CD sleeve library pocket, file folder, matchbook tickets, long pocket, so on and so forth. And you'll see how they each have this little bluish green circle down the side of it. And these are all SVGs. They're scalable vector graphics. That's something you need to remember, scalable vector graphics, because that'll come into play later when we're trying to figure out exactly what we're doing. Okay, so these all are here. Now, if I go into my workspace and I hit file and I hit open and I go down and I find, okay, junk journal SVG Bella Creative Designs. And I click on that. Even though, let me go back up so you can see that, you can see those small files right there in there. If I click on it, nothing shows up. That's because Brother Canvas Workspace actually is searching for things that have the file extension CWPRJ, which is the Canvas Workplace files. That is what they're looking for. Well, there's none of those here. We're dealing with SVGs. Well, we have two different file extensions, and that is is where the problem occurs. So we have to exit out of there. You cannot open file and open it. We're gonna to go to the far left-hand side of the screen and you'll see the Canvas Project and Pattern Collection, Shapes, Text, Import from your computer. And there, lo and behold, there's a little piece of paper and on the little piece of paper, it says SVG. This is how you're gonna upload your scalable vector graphics, your SVGs, into your canvas workspace so you're going to click that it's going to pull up we're going to go back down to our junk journals junk journal svg bella creative designs click and look there's our files because they're svgs so i'm going to click on trifold pocket and we're going to start there and we're going to open okay everything's black so let me drop this we're going to go back to our file here let's go find our Trifold pocket. Where is our trifold pocket? Um, here it is. Here's our trifold pocket. If you will notice that, there's the blue image, which we know is our base. So we have one file at least to work with. 
Then there's six pink files that are mats on top. So there's actually seven files within that trifold pocket. So let's drop this down. And everything just went away. There it is. Okay, here is our file. It looks like one file, but it's not. All seven of your files are there. Your mats are there, your bases are there. We just need to play with it and make it work for us. So what we're gonna do is, if I highlight this, do you see where it shows black? You have the big square around on the outside. Okay, that means there's one image there. Then there's one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. All seven files are there, they're just all black. So we're gonna click out of there again. We're gonna come over and we're gonna click on just the outside. See how it just lights the outside box up? So we know that's the base. We're gonna come over and click the black fill part and we're gonna turn all of our bases blue. There we go. Now you can see our mats are black. So then I'm going to hit control on, I'm working on Windows. So if you're on a Mac, I don't even know if Brother Canvas works on Macs. We sort of have to move these a little bit in order to get them because they don't want to, it keeps wanting to pick that file up, which this is fine because we're actually going to delete these. We're gonna highlight those. And how I do that is I just drop, I left click, move to the side and then move upward. See how they're all highlighted in blue? And then I'm just gonna hit delete. Okay, so we have just this one file. So we're gonna go up to where it says file. We're gonna go down where it says save as. Okay, you see how it pulls up small bag, notebook inserts, viewfinder, roll it, roll decks, card, mats. Okay, we're gonna delete our mats and we're gonna put base because we've just saved the base. And again, CWPRJ, there is your Canvas Workplace file extension. So we know we're on our right way. This is where we're headed. So hit save and we've got that. Okay. I'm going to click that delete. Oh, I'm not going to hit file. I'm going to go to SVG again. I'm going to get to drive full pocket. Open up here. It pulls up again. Right. So I'm going to go. Remember how I picked that before? I'm going to grab that. Just the square. Oh, let me. There we go. Pull it off. I'm going to delete Oh, I'm going to right click on that and hit delete. Now I have my mats. Again, I'm going to press my left uh, button on my mouse, slide, highlight them all. And a lot of this is basic, so you might probably already be familiar with that. Then I'm going to hit pink and make them pretty pink. There's my pink mats. I'm going to go up and I'm going to hit file, save as. I'm going to come in and delete base this time. And you can do that by going all the way to the far right clicking and then backspacing and then I'm going to write mats because this is my mats and again there's the canvas workplace extension so we know we're making files that will work with our brother scan and cut save okay I'm going to delete these and I'm going to drop this down and we're going to come back up into our little guide here and I'm going to zoom you in and we're going to go focus on this trifold pocket just a little bit. Okay. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it or not. You know what? Let me use a different one for example, because there's ones that are better. Let's use, um, okay. We'll go up here and use this big pocket because it works really good. Okay. Okay, see this pocket here? Well, we'll just use the top one here. See this pocket here? You've got these dashed lines here, here across the bottom of the pocket, and up the other side of the pocket. Okay, those dashed lines are score, li score lines. That's where we normally would score. If you have a cricket, it's going to score these for you because cricket's built like that. Brother Scan and Cut doesn't technically score. Um, I'm working on a hack for that, and I think I've got it down, but that'll be a video I release later. Um, if you put the marks in here, what it does is it cuts 
basically like preparation lines, which are fine. The problem is when you go to fold them where it's cut, that paper splits apart on there. A, it weakens your pockets because it's cut. B, it the fibers and stuff come out of the side. It just, it doesn't look very pleasing to the eye for me. So I choose to leave those off and score by hand. So until I can figure out a way to do that. And I'm working on that. I actually think I have it. Better. So we need to open up and we're going to go back into our bases. Okay. Then I'm going to see if it gathered it or not. We'll pull it up. It'll show us if it did or not. Trying to see if there's score lines on here. Okay. Okay, it's looking like there is not score lines on here. So I think we're good. I'll open up one of the pockets so I can show you there. So let me go ahead and right click and delete this file. Oh, I've got to use my SVG because we haven't converted it. And let me do pockets. Okay, here's our pockets. So because I'm showing you the score lines, I'm actually going to delete some of these files and just get them out of my way. Delete. Well. Let me get these out of here. It just makes things a little bit easier to deal with. Okay, let me in zoom in on here so we can get up close and personal with it. Okay, this is gonna be our mat. We're gonna go ahead and delete, well, we can save it, but it, for the purpose of what we're doing, we don't really need that. Okay, and then I'm going to slide this and move this. Okay, I'm gonna click on this. And is it not pulling up? Yes, this does not have score lines on it either. So the score lines have been removed. Nice. Yep, so this has no score lines. So they've already been removed for you. Um, so you don't have to do anything with that. I was wanting to double check to make sure. Um, I didn't know for sure if Katie had taken them off or not. Okay, there's something going on here. I'm not sure what that is. Hey, oh, that's a score line. Okay, see, I knew they were there. So I, I'm going to highlight those, and I'm just going to hit delete. So that got rid of those score lines. So yes, there are score lines there. They're just blue lines. And you have to remove those um, when you can highlight the blue lines. So let me close this one. Actually, let me delete these two. See, there's another one. Right there. And you want to delete that. This is probably from, oh, I think that's from where we were doing them earlier. Yeah, see, it's leaving the score lines on there. So you want to make sure you have all the score lines gone. Because those were from the files I did earlier when I was moving and transferring and saving. and So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to drop it down to a pink. I'm going to drop this one down to a blue. And these are just for, you know, my sake. So basically what you're going to get is you're going to get this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to lay it down. And right here from this seam down to here, right where that blue line is, that's where you're going to score. And again, you're going to score over here. And again, you're going to score across the bottom. So that's how you do that without the score lines. I'm hoping that this at least explained a little bit on how to separate, how to save them, um, you know, stop and start, replay as much as you need. If you have any questions, you know, either Facebook message me or if you, if you have contact with me on Facebook, 
or comment below and I'll try to get, you know, a hold of you. Um, make sure you leave like an email address or you can email me below in the description box will be my email address and feel free to, you know, throw me out an email and I will try to answer it to the best of my abilities. Or if you have certain things you want to know about the scan and cut tutorials or even the cricket that um, you want or whatever, you know, then just give me a holler and I'll see what I can do about getting those set up. So hopefully this has been helpful. I hope you guys have a great day and happy cutting. And we will see you again next time. Thank you.